mankind is being guided behind closed doors. And all over the world, scientists are working on projects designed to take man beyond the confines of this Earth. You are looking at the actual models of spacecraft now being developed by agencies of the United States government. This is an Apollo spacecraft designed for elliptical orbit of the moon. Its lunar landing vehicle can transport three men safely to and from the moon's surface. These are other types of manned and remote control mechanisms, each designed for a specific function. Many already in operation as satellites of this Earth. Some in readiness for the moonshot, others designed for space. A few to serve as space stations, and the most complex of all, prototypes of craft capable of putting a man on the surface of another planet. Wheel was one of man's first inventions and has been with him all of his civilized life. But now it, like so many other of his creations, must be modified to fit his new demands. These are three types of variable radius wheels designed to transport a vehicle over a rocky New concepts are being created almost daily. Some will never get beyond the drawing board, but others, or their descendants, will become part of man's greatest adventure, the exploration and colonization of space. All over the world, men and women are working to make that dream a reality. Every aspect of the journey is being analyzed from the tiniest control devices to the mightiest rocket engines. But it's not enough to just get there. Just as the great explorers sailed from Spain and England and France to discover the Americas so that the colonizers might come later, so will our exploration spacecraft precede the colonizers of the planets. Already plans are being made for the colonies. Sources of food and power must be found. Artificial atmosphere is created. Everything done to build an Earth away from the Earth. No man living today can predict exactly what the future holds. But this much we do know. All through man's march across this Earth, the wildest dreams and fantasies of one age have become the commonplaces of the next. The motion picture you are about to see can be called today a fantasy of the future. But one day, maybe not too far distant, audiences will be able to look back on it in the same spirit with which we view pictures about the first covered wagons crossing the plains.
because I know she exists. I know she does. I know it. All the time we were there, I heard her. Her and that sweet, haunting sound she makes, like the sirens that tempted Ulysses. And they think I'm crazy back here on Earth. Crazy and still intoxicated by the atmosphere back there. But wait a minute, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me tell you the whole story. All of it. From the beginning. And see what you think. You be the judge. It was two years ago, in 1998, that the first manned spaceship left Earth for the planet Venus. This attempt ended in tragedy. A meteor hit the ship. Everybody, everything was lost. Everything but the will to get there, to explore Venus. And so, it was only six months later that the second attempt was made. two men on the new mission. 